डू यू लाइक प्लेइंग मार्क्समैन और अदर हीरोज इन द गोल्डन और आर यू फेसिंग डिफिकल्टीज इन परफॉर्मिंग वेल एज अ गोल्डन Worry not because I have a fix to this issue. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video we will tell you guys how you can easily play and outperform even the core players. I know you guys will be able to relate with me on some points. Do check the timestamps to check the various situation. Before starting this video, I want to let you guys know that I will mostly focus this video on MM and here is the list of mm that can dominate the lane against other mm in the early game i have separated the list into alpha and beta mm the alpha mm can be good pick against the beta marksmen as they can perform really well in the early game laning phase they have the passive or unique skills that help them deal extra damage and outperform the beta marksmen it's not that the beta mm are good in the late game But picking the alpha mm will let your team get the advantage of the early game performance. So keep that in mind. Now let's get to the first matter in winning the gold lane. That is choosing a better marksman. Let me give you an example. There are heroes like Brody, Popol and Koopa and Carry who have passive that gets deadlier and deadlier the more hits you get. So marksmen like Wan Wan, Hanabi and Leila who are item dependent have a tough time facing them in the early game and mostly end up feeding. It's great if you have confidence in that hero but we should never underestimate our enemies. Every hero has a counter and they can counter it too. And as you are playing solo You know you can't rely on your teammates to come and save you from your misery. I will next focus on these points that you need to take care of when playing as a gold laner. Last hitting the minions. Last hitting minions when playing as a gold laner is as important as securing a kill. Being on the gold lane it's your main objective to gain as much gold as possible to get farmed and be on the same level as your jungler You might not be able to last it every minion but practice doing it often Even 50 extra gold can make a huge difference Turret gold and lies and predict where the enemy team is and try your best to get the gold from the turrets for example here you can see martis on the top lane franco and nana on the mid lane and hanabi recalled after being poked by me and considering it's just 1 minute into the game their jungler was still farming so i could take this advantage and get the turret gold easily 200 gold advantage can give you an item fragment advantage or even the gold required to build your first item. There must be other situation where you manage to get the turret gold and end up staying idle in your lane. Then I would advise you to rotate to the mid lane for assisting your teammates or quickly clearing the lane. Mosko can be good at clearing lanes but the damage is the issue. He needs the item for clearing lanes quickly. issues of the gold lane Now let's talk about the problem I regularly face when playing as a gold laner Enemies will make you the first target and try to eliminate you as the most squishy one in the team is you So keep your flicker spell in handy even if the enemy has MM that is not suitable for early game They will still be able to deal some damage which will make things easy for their jungler to finish you off. I mostly play MM and this becomes very irritating for me when all the enemy decide to focus and gank me. 
under experienced teammates here is what you can do when you go to noob jungler there is one trick solution to get this solved that is change lanes and try to push from other lane i know this is simple but it is one of the most effective tip that you can use your team will surely be focused on getting into ganks and securing kills analyze the situation and prioritize turret first destroying a turret is similar to securing a kill and it also open up the map for your team and that's also one of the reason hayabusa is main in the tournament marksmen with cc will be the one of the best choices to go for as they are hard to approach and after unsuccessful attempts gives the enemy a hard time running away asking for help sticking behind a tank is not an act of cowardice this is a strategy game and that's how the strategy of mm works they are weak in the early game and become a strong asset for the late game that's why make sure you roam with tanks or any sustainable hero to get to the position to carry your team till the late game Lastly there are some things which we will never be able to control like the type of player we meet in game they may be quitters and go afk they might trash talk they might be under experienced and they might not even play the game by the rules so remember to press the rank mode button with these possibilities in mind talking about gold laners We also have one one who got a new M World skin. I'm sure many of you guys would like to try her out. So let me just leave gameplay for you to decide if you like her skill effects and think if you should buy her skin with the promo diamonds.
challenge me to dart throwing? How dare you! Thank you for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.